This will be the lecture over section 5.1 of chapter five. <clears throat> we'll be discussing equilibrium of a particle. So when a particle or an object is in equilibrium, the vector sum of the forces acting on it must be zero. If you look at those forces in component form, the forces in the X direction and the forces in the Y direction all must be equal to zero. If you use free body diagrams, uh, you can see uh, the forces on an, uh, an object. Newton's third law is also frequently needed in equilibrium problems. Uh, the two forces in an action reaction pair never act on the same object. So here we have an object moving at constant velocity down a frictionless ramp, and it is going to be in equilibrium. If you abstract it to a free body diagram, uh, and you look at the coordinates for each one of the objects, uh, the weight vector is replaced by its components. So if we're looking at the normal force, we're looking at the weight times the cosine of the alpha of the angle made. Uh, then the uh, tension on the uh, string that's pulling on it uh, will be opposed by the weight times the sine of this. So the forces in the y direction here are gonna be equal to zero. The force, the sum of the forces in the x direction are gonna be equal to zero. So, um, Let's remember Newton's first law. When an object is at rest or moving with constant velocity in an inertial reference frame, the vector sum of all the forces acting on it must be equal to zero. So an object in equilibrium must have acceleration that is equal to zero. An object in equilibrium may be at rest or moving with constant velocity. And uh, equation 4.3 is applied, always applied to a single object on which forces are acting. In its component form, we can see it like this. Now, we're free to choose any coordinate system for determining the components. You don't have to have X go this way straight and then Y up and down or whatnot. As you saw in the diagram uh, that had been drawn, uh, we can change that to anything that we would like. Um, as long as X and Y are orthogonal to each other, you're gonna be fine. And you can see here, there are several problems here that I would like to see you work through since you have access to it and I'm trying to keep the amount of data short, uh, please do go through these and uh, it will help you to understand uh, vectors, sum of, uh, of forces in different directions. So please do all of that.